The Inspector General of Police, Kale Kirase, is gone at the times when Ugandans lived in a panic mode due to the rampant crimes that were taking place, ranging from Bagrali to death. Then robberies, there has been a, a big reduction. Motorcycle theft, motorcycle theft, cash, then aggravated robbery general, simple robbery. So the cases last year, 4,400. This year, 3,600. It's a marked, marked improvement. The statement falls on the heels of a published crime report which indicates a reduction in the crime rate. Available statistics show only 74 deaths associated to shooting were recorded compared to last year, where 143 cases were filed. Kehra says the police is using all possible means to succumb the cases of crime to a minimum Kihura says that compared to last year's statistics, the country is stable and the crime rate is registering a downward trend. The country is stable and the crime rate continues to, to, to register a downward trend. And uh, just to give you an indication, just, just to give you an indication, I just give the one, one example of death by shoot. Death by shoot. When you compare last year, this time last year, the same period last year, we had 143 incidents of death by shooting. This year, they have come down to 74 incidents. Kaira proudly stated that Uganda is now secure compared to the situation of the past 500 years. He mentions that there is no more guns in Karamoja. Apparently, one can move in Karamoja without any fear. Uganda has never been more stable and more secure than it is now, in the last 10 years. In the last 10 years, Uganda has never been more secure. Actually, in the last 500 years. <laughs> yes, I can do the research. It's a fact. Homicides, mob justice, fire outbreaks, thefts and pickpocketing have also reduced this year compared to last year. Sex-related offences and child-related crimes are still high. I must, I must confess, the fire remains the biggest thing. The biggest problem. Because there's connivance. There's connivance, there's cover up, and then the police is involved in those cover ups. It's something we must fight, really. Sex related offenses are still high. There was a state of emergency in Uganda, in Uganda. there was no PCD. We can't say that the people, especially in this center, center, central part of the country, were situated. <coughs> then after that, of course, with Idi Amin, we were in a state of terror. <laughs> At the mass of gun toting soldiers. Kaihura says the police has strategized mechanically to solve the issue of crime through making alliances with regional countries. Joint intelligence committees have been put in place and also compel the police to navigate neighborhoods. The other things uh, we who are in enforcement must do and we have initiated having a watch list. This is a tool we want to use. There are two things actually. Which now technology can help us. Uh, criminal case file tracking. Uh, we are going to be tracking all, 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 all the case files. Tracking them using technology. Because now you can do it. Fighting crime is still a major challenge to the country. But Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF, is going to concentrate on qualitative development through training to solve the problem.